name is Anisha Praveen. You can just call me Anisha. Um, I was born in Kuching. I was raised mostly in Miri, Sarawak. So I joined Shell and Explorers when I was in Form 1. So that was in 2017. You know, my school offered the program to like 15 students in my batch. And I grabbed that opportunity. In N Explorers, we had a couple of competitions at first. And I remember my first competition with two of my teammates. It opened our eyes to like a whole new world that we've never seen before. And in the beginning, we created a project which I don't think solved anyone's problems, but it was the experience that mattered. Like that was the stepping stone to everything that I've achieved in N Explorers. So the next year, we built a project that actually mattered and it made us happy having you know that opportunity to create a project that actually solved a real issue in our final year our third year that's when all of those is what led to us creating the project that eventually won um, Shell and Explorers in 2020. So Chillax it started off as like a project to curb wildfires in Australia but then we thought why don't we bring it to a more close to home kind of place so we thought about rural areas in Miri itself, places which like did not have a good cooling system, right? We made an automated sprinkler system that would be installed on roofs of these kinds of houses. We wanted everything to be renewable and that's what we were able to achieve with Chillax and I'm forever proud of that project. Welcome to Shell Explorer Malaysia 2022 National Grand Final Ceremony. Uh, my name is Fauzi Masroom. Uh, I'm actually here in Shell as the Process Control Domain and Field Telecoms Functional Excellent. So it was back in 2019 when I had the opportunity to mentor a varsity challenge which is called Shell Slumber Sampai. The opportunity then uh, rendered across to the uh, Shell Eco Marathon. And then it was an opportunity where I found the uh, Shell and Explorer where I can actually explore further into being passionate in mentoring. It comes a bit of a like fulfillment in my life because I believe that by mentoring, I can be passionate in terms of giving in part of what I have experienced and endured. One thing when I mentor is that I never discount anything from what the students are bringing in. That shows their creativity. But that creativity harness uh, both arts and as well as the science because we in Shell and Explorer not only look into the STEM studies, but also the analytic uh, thinking, critical thinking and design thinking. And definitely by them bringing into the table their creativity, um, that would spur on their knowledge in terms of STEM. So this is where I came in to actually harness that furthermore and purposely challenging them what they could bring forward, what they could actually showcase to the world, their skills. Shell and Explorer is an opportunity for us as Shell staff um, to bring forward what we know and experience as a worker, what we deal in our day-to-day -day work. The opportunity that we have to expand it across to school children is massive. Shell and Explorer gives value add to uh, schools, students, to really harness their potential in terms of learning STEM and an opportunity for them to move forward and hopefully become the young leaders of tomorrow today. You know, these Shell mentors, aside from giving us feedback and stuff, they've been amazing role models to me as well. I ended up volunteering with them my semester break and I went to schools that are now doing Ant Explorers in Miri. It, it was a very heartfelt moment. I remember I walked into like uh, one of the schools this one time and then this one student just went, Anisha, can you teach me again how a relay works? And I was immediately so touched. I was like, wow, I'm able to actually, you know, help these students do something. Honestly, I, could, I did not imagine that I would ever get a scholarship. Like, I think it was all about the core skills that I learned from it. So like teamwork, the perseverance that I picked up from like having projects constantly fail, you know, gathering my motivation to continue to make that project work eventually. That's what led me to become the person that I am today. I don't know what Shell saw in me, honestly, when they picked me, but I think that's what they saw in me. I think it was these, these core values that N Explorers taught me. You know, I'm just really excited that I was given the opportunity 
to be an N-Explorer back when I was in high school.